our task in the present GAA is the development of an next generation humidity chamber. This will allow us more precise and faster investigations in state of the art biosoft meta science. Therefore, we thought it is a good thing to hire a scientist, Matt Barrett, as PhD student, which is leading the project here. So our goal is to build a humidity chamber with a very fast humidity response. In the human body, for example, the, the default sample environment, the default environment, is extremely saturated, so it's a moist environment, and it's a warm environment. So if we can reproduce these, these parameters on our system, we can get information of what's happening in situ. We had a workshop right at the beginning, and we met with other members of the European neutron scattering community and just discussed with the scientists and sample environment teams what they had and what we could improve upon. We worked closely with the team at Institut Laue Langevin in France in an iterative design process. We decided what parameters were important and decided how we could uh, incorporate these into our new humidity chamber. We've now finished the design process and we're looking forward to starting with our first prototype later this spring. Um, I in particular will be using this to look at uh, amyloid beta protein which is involved in Alzheimer's disease. So although we don't have our first physical prototype, the design is finished and we hope to make this prototype in the next few months. It's in the, it's in the construction phase now. Um, this is the overview of what our uh, humidity chamber will look like and the details that it has. I presented this last summer at the ICNS conference in Edinburgh, Scotland, and we've spoken with many other users and sample environment groups uh, to figure out how we could improve upon this. Um, the judges at this conference liked my poster and I was awarded a student prize for the best student poster. I look forward to putting in some samples and using V1 beamline, which I'm standing beside now, um, and also other neutron scattering facilities uh, to see the structure and function of a protein in membranes.